Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. Here at the detention center known as Gitmo, prisoners know that their collective fate could hinge on the outcome of the U.S. presidential election. The detainees do have access to, uh, to news uh, from the outside. It's probably safe to say that they are following the election and uh, keeping a close watch as are a lot of other uh, people around the world. Could their time in Guantanamo be nearing an end? U.S. President Barack Obama pledged to close Gitmo, but didn't. Will Obama's successor finally shut the place down? Honestly, right now, I think everybody's in a uh, sort of a flux of what the policy will be for Guantanamo Bay after the election. And with good reason. Donald Trump wants to fill the place up again, and Hillary Clinton wants to empty it. This morning, I watched President Obama talking about Gitmo, right? Guantanamo Bay, which, by the way, which, by the way, we are keeping open, which we are keeping open. And we're going to load it up with some bad dudes, believe me. We're going to load it up. I believe the president is right to try to close it. I think it is a continuing recruitment uh, advertisement for terrorists. Beatings, sleep deprivation, physical and mental stress, and sexual assault. These are just some of the so-called enhanced interrogation techniques that made Gitmo notorious in its early years. Though a spokesman for the U.S. Defense Department says prisoners were treated humanely. Nearly 800 accused terrorists have been detained at Gitmo, and only 60 remain. None might be left if it weren't for opposition in the U.S. Congress. And even in his last year as president, Obama has continued to press for Gitmo's closure. I don't want to pass this problem on to the next president, whoever it is. And if, as a nation, we don't deal with this now, when will we deal with it? Are we going to let this linger on for another 15 years, another 20 years, another 30 years? If Obama transfers the remaining detainees to other countries in the final days of his presidency, Gitmo's commanders say that they can quickly shutter the place. If we got the order to transfer them, we'd be able to do so on short notice. Of the remaining detainees, 30 are being held without charge, 20 have been approved for transfer, and 10 face military tribunals, including the five accused of plotting the 9-11 attacks. There is a very positive atmosphere um, because there are already at this point in time 20 of the detainees that are approved for release. Um, and they've seen many of the movements of their fellow detainees going off to different countries and transferring. When Americans go to the polls, their votes will decide the fate of those who some call enemies and others call people who are being held in unlawful detention. And this is all less than 900 kilometers from the coast of the United States. Yasmin Alamiri, CCTV, Guantanamo Bay, Cuba.